So this is a pup catcher, um, a very small one made just for ba a bathhouse. And um, as you can see, it's got the little area where, where the pup can land. Um, and this is, if you've got the bat house on a pole, then this would be attached to the pole and this would be out a little bit more so that uh, straight down the pup could fall right back up into it or fall into this and then just climb right back up. This is called polypropylene mesh. It is UV resistant and so it will last for years uh, for exclusions or roosts or anything like that. Comes in a 14 foot linear roll. Um, so it's 14 feet long and it's sold by the foot and it's fairly inexpensive per foot. So the kind that you want to get or the size you want to get is actually really small. These holes are one sixth, called one sixth inch. And what, uh, what this small size allows for safety because if they're any bigger than this, a bat's wrist can slip right through one of these little holes. And once it's through, uh, it will unfold a little bit. And so the wing will be stuck on this side and they'll be unable to pull it back through because it opens a little bit. So it's really important to get the right size mesh. So for smaller roofs, you could use window screen. For larger roofs, like inside barns and outside buildings, um, then you can use this polypropylene mesh. So what we're doing is we're raising this net up, the section that was cut to the very top. And I know it's a little transparent, but you can see the very top of it right here can be attached against a rafter with staples or screws uh, with a, wash, a washer behind it or any, anything along those lines. You don't want to use tape because if the tape comes loose during the heat, a little baby's uh, bat's could, wing could get caught in it very easily um, and then they would be stuck. So once it's up and you've got the net secured, what you want to do is create a, um, a little place where they can land and that means taking a piece of this mesh and curving it up this way to kind of create like a loose hem and a pair of slacks or a dress or anything like that so you want to create it a little area like this on one end and if it's a super long area it's probably going to need support in the middle so I'm going to drop that down and go to the other side and create another little loose hem on this side. And what this is going to do is create a little pocket for the bats to, or the babies to land in, um, if they do happen to fall. And it's their natural inclina inclination to climb back up. They always want to go up high. So if they do happen to fall and land into a little pocket like this, then they're just going to naturally climb back up. And what this will do is allow little healthy babies to get back up to the roost very easily. And um, on the other hand, little pups that are starving to death uh, will just come down on the, on the net and just the mesh and just stay here. You may have to attach it in several places, um, and I would attach it a little more loosely in places like this so that it has some stability and still remains uh, like a little pocket that can land in right here. Um, the other thing that will need to be done, if, you, if possible, is instead of the net coming straight down like this, if there's a way to use twine or something and actually bring it out from the barn wall or the side of a barn or a rafter or anything, bring it out somewhat like this, that just allows it to be that much easier for a baby to crawl right back up in, right back up into the roost this way. Uh, one of the things that bats will do during extremely hot weather is they will come out here onto this net and lay with their stomachs against the mesh to get more air. They'll separate themselves and lay all across it to get more air. So this also acts as a way to prevent colonies from overheating when they're in barns or under um, metal awnings or something like that. So this is extremely helpful in saving bat colonies, especially really large ones. And this mesh is inexpensive enough uh, to where you could buy, you could cover an entire side of a building if you needed to with, at hardly any expense. And because it is kind of semi-transparent, uh, then it won't show that badly on the outside of a building.